Hey you guys, what's going on today? During the past three days, I have got a lot of packages in the mail from both Play Me Sales and Lionel Racing. Uh, it's to be exact, I got three packages, so you know, I got a few, not a lot, but uh, they're decent sized packages. But first, let's go into the package from Lionel Racing. So, I pre ordered this car months back. Don't know what it was. I mean, I kind of do, but I I forget a little bit. Oh. One car in here, guys. Oh, shit, this is nice. It's, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Kelly Blue Book diecast. Very nice car. I'm yet to get the Nationwide car still. Um, I don't know. Well, I'm, waiting for, I'm, I'm probably going to get it at Pocono, but who knows. Anyway, next package for Plan B Sales. Come on. And of course, as usual with Plan B Sales, the got like, Crap ton of peanuts. Ah, just get on there. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, this next car I got also. Uh, thought it would go up in value after what happened to this one particular driver who got suspended earlier in the season. But he is back, and we all know who it is. Kurt Busch's Haas Automation. Now there's a couple of changes to this car. Uh, of course they got rid of the outlaw on the A pillar. And so they just have his autograph on there. It's pretty okay, which is okay. It's just it stinks to see the change. And wow, this car just came out also. And it is Kevin Harvick's Ditech. I'm probably not gonna get the Budweiser car because of the fact that it's relatively the same as the 2014. Alright, on to the third and final package. Alright, so first car. Uh, seems to be four cars in here, so here's the first one. Kyle Larson's Chip Ganassi uh, Target Chevy. <laughs> or, yeah, Target Chevrolet. Okay. Next off is Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's. I like the the change for uh, this year. Yeah, you know, it kind of it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, 2005 look, a little bit, but a uh, different tone for the blue. But it's still a pretty neat car. And last two, uh, they're both Jeff Gordon cars. Here is the Exalta. Very big difference uh, from this year to last year. Paint scheme wise, it's the same, but the molding a whole lot better than the WLS mold. And finally, Jeff Gordon's Jab Dan Hunger car. Alright guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and if you have not checked out my latest review on Jeff Gordon's 1994 Indie Win, I recommend checking that out. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.